This is your forecast for the month of July 2018. This is a general reading for Virgo Sun, Virgo Rising, or Virgo Moon. For a more rounded overview, please watch your Rising and Moon sign as well. So Virgo, this first week you are feeling frustrated about something. Perhaps there's been some interference, or you're feeling irritable or stressed. For some of you, there may be some issues connected to surgery or heart disease, but there is the some kind of disturbance taking place that's causing some anguish for you. Now, it could be that you're having to cut something out. Again, maybe you need to have surgery or you need to end a relationship, but there's some kind of heartbreak or grief or emotional pain connected to something. It could be loneliness or somebody has betrayed you or you're feeling a sense of sorrow. And this may be as a result of some kind of rejection that you've suffered or you've lost a love or you're alienated or you're separated. Uh, so some of you may be receiving some painful news this week. It could be that, you know, something is unrequited. Uh, you know, you couldn't make that connection that you wanted to. Or again, some kind of bitter secret has emerged. Some of you may be involved in some kind of a love triangle. But whatever it is that you're facing this week, it's putting a mirror in front of you. You're getting to know more about you. You're coming to terms with yourself. You're gaining greater awareness. You're having to rethink some things, change your perspective in some way. But that may be difficult for you because, again, this is something emotional uh, that is maybe blocking you from being uh, rational. You know, the, there's something piercing your heart, some words, some thoughts, some ideas. Something is keeping you from being rational. For some of you, it could have been a breakdown in communication or negotiations that gave you some kind of reality check, a wake-up call. Some of you, whatever you're dealing with, you were following a path and... Somewhere inside, you knew where this path would lead. You knew what the destination point was. And so you got some bad news, but you weren't surprised. Uh, so just because something doesn't go your way, you know, you're not giving up. You are just relieved. You know what a situation is. You can deal with the truth, the reality of it, and move forward and come up with a new plan. It may have something to do with traveling or, you know, getting some kind of guidance or following some aspiration that you have or where you're coming to terms with where you've just simply been unrealistic. If you were deeply emotionally invested and you had no idea whatsoever how a situation would unfold, you were taken off guard, taken aback by surprise, then you're going to be extremely disappointed with how things have turned out and it's going to be difficult for you to deal with that disappointment, that frustration, because something is emotionally upsetting. It could have been some kind of last minute cancellation. Something fell through and, you know, the bottom fell out of a situation. So there's some kind of delay this week, disappointment, loss, because you didn't judge, you didn't make the call correctly. Either you overestimated something or you underestimated something, whether that was a person or yourself in a situation. Uh, you know, it could be that this week you're still holding on to some grief. Uh, you've got some lingering depression. Again, it could have been as a result of some kind of uh, rejection or you're just overly emotional. For some of you, you're cutting your emotions off. There's a denial of how you feel. But this could very well mean that the worst is over for you. Uh, you know, this is not the week to have a pity party or uh, you have to look at how maybe you've been sabotaging yourself. Have you been you know, directing your emotions 
toward the wrong channels? Have you been using your time or your talent and your energy in a way that wasn't going to pay off for you? And on, you know, you probably knew that somehow, especially if you were cutting corners or trying to take a shortcut or come up with a scheme, you probably ended up ultimately on the short end of the stick. So, you know, this is about coming to terms with where you are in a situation.